Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Double Cross. So today I'm going to be taking on the Desert Gourmand and a Royal Ludroth. I'm getting a lot of news here. Is it that they, I unlocked more things by getting far enough? I don't know. But I know that these are my next two key quests, so I'm going to start out with the Desult Desul Desultory Gourmand. Yeah, that's what he's called. The Nibble Snarf. It always makes me think of the song Haba Haba Zoot Zoot, because as you know, Ziba Zoo was at Zat, a nom nom. Haba Haba Zoot Zoot, a Ziba Zoo was at Zat, a nom nom, a hu repa hu repa, a ha hu repa, a nom nom, a nom. If you don't get it, look it up. It's worth it. Just applying some mouth spray before I go off on my talking tangents. You know they call me that, talking tangents, Joe. Cotton eye, talking tangents, Joe. Talking eye, ton, talking eye tangents, Tim. It's probably better. If I had to guess. I'm gonna go ahead and take myself a cold drink. And then I'm going to realize that I have forgotten to eat once again. As I am the most pro at the game, you notice that I forget nothing. Nothing any of the time. He doesn't start in this area. I know he starts in seven. I don't think I get a cutscene. Maybe I get a cutscene for him? I don't know. Because usually you have to kind of fish him out or, you know. Maybe you don't know. You have to fish him out or find him. Okay, so he just they just sank him underground again. So the proper way to get him out when he's like that is to just throw a sonic bomb. Oh, never mind. I thought that would work. Apparently it doesn't. Apparently the best way... He used to pop out much faster than that. I'm almost sure of it. I'm getting a surprising amount of early hits here. It's going to be a bit tough to build up a charge while fighting the Nibble Snarf. So, I'm not entirely sure how long or short this fight is going to be. Because I could get lucky and it could be super short. I could get unlucky and it could just go on forever. Forever and ever. Oh. Got a bit struggly right away and it's a long struggle, man. At least he let me zoom up after that and have some time to go stabby stab. Ooh, his uvula. That is actually one of the breakable parts on the nibble snarf, so it's good to spend some time getting it real damaged. And I missed entirely. Okay, so you can fish him out here. I actually don't know how to do it. I've never done it before. Apparently you just kind of, same thing as mounting, tap buttons. At least I'm getting that 10% damage bonus. There we go, easy money. And I got both hits off on the, on the um, Sakura Slash. I love it how I come back to Sakura Slash and suddenly I can hit with it again. Ow. That kind of hurt. Yeah, just wasted my sharpness. No, 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 stop wasting my sharpness. Do you know where my sharpness goes? Cause I really want it close. So, you can also set bombs in order to uh, feed the Nibble Snarf, but did I pick up bombs from the stash? I did indeed. Oh, I jumped off of it. Come get me. Come get me, Snarfy. I call him next, we're close. Well, he didn't need the bomb, but... Oh, did I damage his uvula? I'm sorry, man. I didn't expect it to be so sensitive. Usually a uvula can take a beating. Grab that sharpening. Get fucked by the nibble snarf. 
and fail the panic dive in time. Classic. Man, this thing is angry. Can you maybe stop and just let me down a potion in peace? Well, that didn't go quite as well as I might have hoped. Also, I can't help but notice I haven't gotten a real hit off in quite a while. Okay, there we go. And this might even give me the chance to finish off a Spirit Slash. Yes, it did. Where are you going? Wow. I thought he was running away. Damn, that really hurt. And for Nibble Snarf, at least it's always pretty easy to find him because he always spawns in a pretty much the most sandy place he can. Oh, I thought he was gonna do the whole being fished up thing again. Everybody's sick of your being fished up routine, Nibble Snarf. We all seen it before. It's just a cry for attention. Oh, he is not running away yet. Guess I might as well lock onto him, right? Ow! Okay, got the potion down in time at the very least. Gotta wait for an actual attack in order to use um, Secure Slash. Don't want to be wasting it now. Where are you going? Oh, he's limping. He's going to... That looked like a limp crawl to me. So he's probably going straight to Area 3 to have some sleep. And I'm going straight, straight to Area 3 to Sakura Slash the fuck out of him. Because that seems like a pretty good idea. I have a pretty good idea. There we go. There we go again. Heading back to base. Hopefully not fighting the baloney monkey anytime soon. Don't think you have to fight him in single player ever. Hopefully. Hate the baloney monkey. The blogonga or something. Blogonga? I will forever call him the baloney monkey because he is full of it. Full of it. He is so full of it. Going to take a massive shit on it. Of it? I don't know. Oh. YouTube has really got a got to shape up its act when it comes to this whole taking down inappropriate content thing. Because they've been taking down a few of mine here, not taking them down, but making them unavailable for advertisers, or limited availability, which I don't even know what that means. Really. I don't even know what that means, man. I know I said I was going to Sakura Slash him, but I then completely forgot about said, said threat to the Nibble Snarf's life. Okay, back up to full red bar, but also back down to not as much health as I might like. Oh, is he, um, is he, like, fishable? It doesn't seem like it, or maybe I have to be standing further in front of him. Either way, I'm just gonna attack him a bit. So close to dead. Might as well, right? Oh, and need another sharpening. Unless this kills. Oh, it mounts. Close enough. He's tired now, so I get an instant huge advantage. Yeah, I did um, damage his uvula. Look at that. There we go. Wow, he wasn't quite as close to... <laughs> My Palico just finished him. Oh well, no complaints. I'm good with a little Palico finisher here and there. 
I'm not good with that potion I just wasted, though. So guys, I was gonna do a double episode today, but my voice is actually getting slightly hoarse. So this is where I'm gonna call it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Especially comment. I like hearing from you guys. Just anything. Just show profanities at me. I don't care. I'll see you next time.